this video is going to look at how Mokito enables us to stub multiple method calls all in the same line. First, we're going to look at how a stub can enable us to control the behavior of our application when we're testing it. Then we're going to look at when we might want to stub multiple method calls within the same test. And then lastly, we're going to look at how Makito enables us to do this in a nice and efficient way while removing a lot of the boilerplate code. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you want to see more weekly videos on Java. So if we take a look at the class that we'll be testing called Goal Statistics, and it has this single method called Goals Per Game, which accepts a string, which will be the player's name, and then an integer, which is the number of games that they've played. So first, this method will use the goals service, which is a service which is instantiated through the constructor just here above. And down below, we can see the goals service has this method called get goals. It accepts the player as a string. And in real life, this might connect to a database and then return the number of goals for that player. But in this implementation, I just have a random number being returned back. And then if the number of goals is less than or equal to zero, a new exception will be thrown with the message of no goals scored. Otherwise, it will return the number of goals divided by the number of games that are being passed in. So for this goals per game method, there's a few tests that we might want to create. So first, we might want to test if this goals service returns a high number of goals and also for a low number of goals. And then also we might want to test if the goals are zero and that this exception is being thrown. So let's move into our test class and we can begin writing these tests. So we can begin by creating a mock of the goal service that we will be using to force back the number of goals that each of our players score. And then we can inject our goal service into an instance of the goal statistics class using inject mocks. And if you haven't seen this annotation before, I'll leave the card to my video on inject mocks at the top. Now in our test, we're going to tell the goal service to return, let's say 100, whenever we call the get goals method. And then we can assert that if a player has played 10 games, that the goals per game will be 10. So we can see that when the goal service calls the player's name, which is player, it will return 100. And then this integer that we've defined within our test called goals high, will be the goals per game for this player divided by 10 goals, and that should result in the number 10. So if we run this test, we can expect it to pass. I can now repeat this test. So let's say the goal service get goals will return just 10. And if we have that same player with just 10 goals, the goals per game should be just one. So I've called this value goals low. The goal service will now return just 10 to us, and 10 divided by 10 is one. So this should also still pass. And lastly, I can do the same where the goal service returns just zero. And then at the top of our test, I can do an expected exception to be thrown, which will just be the exception class. So now we've also tested for the exception. Another way to test for the exception is by using the test exception package from Google. And I'll leave a link in the top of this video just now. So if we take a look at our test method, we can see that there's quite a bit of repeated code. First, we stub the goal service get goals method with then return passing in 100. Then we define an integer, which are the goals per game using the goal statistics class. Then we assert upon that value. We do the same stubbing, getting the goals and then assertion, and then stubbing for a third time and then getting the goals. So for each stub method that we're calling, we're passing in the exact same goal service the same method call and the same argument being passed in. The only difference is what is being written. Now Makito can allow us to do this a little bit more efficiently by consecutively stubbing the same service with the same method and the same arguments. So in our case, what we can do is actually remove this line here where we're returning 10 and we can extend our stub at the top to now return 10. So the first time that we call the goal service get goals with the player name, it will return 100. And then the second time, it will return 10. So now, if I run this test, it should behave in exactly the same way. So it's now passed. And there's no limit to the number of consecutive stubs that we can apply to the same service and method. So I can remove this when called down below, and then extend, then return, to now return zero. 
So this is a really simple way for us to improve the readability and efficiency of our tests. And there's one thing to bear in mind when we return these multiple stubs, is that the final value will be returned for every subsequent call that we make to the goal service. So if I remove this final value just down below and I print out this final goal statistics goals per game method, every time that we now call goal service get goals, it will always return 10. So this will now print out the number one because 10 divided by 10 is one. And the same will happen for every subsequent call that we make. So you can see one has been printed down three times into the console because every subsequent call that we make after the first and second call will always return that final value. So this is a really nice and simple way that we can remove boilerplate code from our tests by stubbing consecutive method calls with Mokito.